Yeah, we'll have to see what happens when we move around. I can boringly tell you what I think it was. Jack? Sorry, I have to go. Kronos 2 out. I think it's what um the encoder settings I was using, but hold on. Jack? What happened? Encoder issues. My calibration program crashed. I appear to be stuck in the activation pod. That's odd. Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed before. It must have suspended the pod's release procedures. In the event of activation pod failure, Titan Protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod, followed by a level 3 inspection of... Well, let's see how it goes. Oh, was this bit, like, glitchy earlier as well? Listen, about my conversation with Command, how much did you overhear? I heard enough to know I'm no longer going with you to Ceres. Seems you've earned yourself a promotion. Oh, sorry. The director want you to take over my duties as station commander. That was awkward. In charge. That would make this our last week together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... They just... Hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up. I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Except... I'm sorry, Jack. Orders are orders. Command must have their reasons. Doesn't necessarily mean they're good ones. Regardless, it doesn't seem like there's anything we can do. Come on, then. No sense putting it off. Momo, how's it going? You alright, guy? Our last week started. <coughs> right, quick sip of coffee after that crazy, crazy stuff going on. Copy that. How you doing, guys? Sorry for the issues there. I do apologise. For anyone who wants to know, or doesn't want to know, I'm still going to say it anyway. Uh, basically, when certain VR games use hardware differently, uh, most use GPU uh, and some use CPU. This game, today I've just found out, uses a lot of CPU. So, I've got an i9 uh, 9900K processor, and I was using medium setting encoding on X264. Uh, so I was using my CPU to encode my videos, and it's always been fine till this game. So yeah, uh, I've just learned that basically before, and what you can do, you can test that anyway by recording. Um, that's all you've got to do is use the same settings to go record in OBS. And then you'll see if it's working. So, basically, it's back to the drawing board with some games now for me that I'm going to have to uh, do a little recording to make sure it doesn't stutter and stuff. Beated. Matt, it, I, don't, I, I don't doubt it. It looks incredible. I'm really going to miss this part. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Look at that. Look at that. Take your time. We do have an especially striking view of Saturn this morning. Almost like it's showing off. <laughs> do you happen to know what gives the planet its unique color? Um, uh, yeah. The upper atmosphere contains crystallized ammonia, which... I'm sorry, you wanted to answer your own question, didn't you? It's all right, Jack. I'm sure I'll survive. Well, it's over. Um, my PC is now about a year old, uh, and it cost two thousand two hundred pounds, I believe, at the time. Bear in mind, I've got all the settings on high. Um, I could have changed all that stuff, you know. Let's look at the dog. Why do you find these creatures appealing? Bulldogs are a symbol of the British spirit. We don't want to know when the odds are against us. Ah. Sounds familiar. Oh, shut up, Jack. <laughs> Hello, Bobblehead. This model is meant to depict an S8 labor unit, is it not? That's right. Why? Is something wrong with it? So, Jack, I suppose congratulations are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. In a few days, you'll be Captain Jack. 
So, congratulations, Captain Jack. Captain Jack's pretty What cool. I mean is, as an Echo unit, I hold no official rank. So, technically, I can't be promoted. Right. Well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I'm merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have no... What was that? It might be my, my computer did you, again. Did you feel that? What the hell? P please tell me you can see that. I certainly can. Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. What the... Jack, are you alright? I believe so. You were glitching out. The disturbance briefly disrupted my internal systems, but I'm not reading any permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is... It shouldn't be low, low audio, dude. It should be quite high. But I'll turn it up a bit more. It's not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll investigate. Terra, initiate broad spectrum scan. Focus on the following coordinates. Cinema Central, how are you doing? I've turned it up, man. Terra, status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Acknowledged. Isolating. Awaiting input. Saturn orbital zone beta. Is that better, guys? Orbital mining facility. Designation, Kronos 2. Central mining station. Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, that's it? This is bad. That's all we've got to go on. Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the CubeSat? How the hell did we... Oh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. My mate, the amount of times I've heard that, dude. Spirit Realm, how's it going? Here yeah, it's are. fine. Still pretty quiet. Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this CubeSat? No worries. I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. All right, okay. So I'll, turn it, I'll turn it up a bit more now, guys. Module A-131. Data scanner. I didn't actually restart my PC. I just changed OBS. Please exit the pod to begin calibrating it. Ready. Please follow me to the disk spawner at the back of the room. Now activate your scanner by pressing the button on top of your hand. Both of your hands have this functionality. Good. Now aim the scanner oh, that's well at the cool. port on the disk spawner and hold the trigger to initiate a scan. That is that is so cool. After scanning something, its name will appear next to your hand on the scanner's data tab. To see the results of your scan, grasp the tab and pull it away from your hand. Ugh. Pull the data tab now. Excellent. Use the button on top of your hand to deactivate the scanner now. Good. Dude. To complete this module, gather scan data on five other materials or objects. Five? Okay. Four scans remaining. <laughs> Score goals in zero G. Sport the future. Initiating human sarcasm. I thought we were friends, Echo One. Three, two scans remaining. There you go. Scan the wall. Scan this again. 
Can I scan that thing? One scan remaining. Oh god. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Nice, we're ready. Excellent. Oh. Hello Dante's family. Scanner fully calibrated. I'm ready. Oh sorry. Heads up. Oh. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh, well. Problem solved. All <laughs> you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Sounds like fun. Oh, of course, it would to you. <laughs> I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective received. Right then, on to the real problems. What do you think? What's next? Hera, status update on your scan of the anomaly. Scan currently 3% complete. 3%? What's the problem? The sensor network is attempting to perform a full spectrum scan of an unknown entity. It might take a while. Lovely. Well, in the meantime, we've got three tier one malfunctions that need our attention. What do you say we get started on those repairs? Good idea. So I'm literally... A few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. Doing repairs. You just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. Okay. I'm a repair robot now. Um, let's do... Cube set activation. There's tons of them. There's absolutely loads to do. My mate, I'm not sure. I can't remember how much it cost, man. It's one of the first games I ever got on PC. It's Melks. How's it going? Shats. How you doing, guys? Have you poked her in the face yet? I grabbed her butt by accident. Uh, and earlier before the game went a bit weird, I threw a ball in her face. All right, let's uh, meet live in the activation bay. What's that do? What was that? Is that, is that a mission marker or something? Dante. Oh, nice. 30 pounds. Someone said in the chat earlier, I don't know if I'm going the right way. Uh, someone said in the chat earlier, activation bay, um, that they've been waiting for it to be on sale, but it never is. Is it one of the, I'm assuming it's just one of those like legendary VR games that just don't ever get on sale. Door control? How do I, how do I operate you? Is this not the way? Oh, there she is. There she is. Ready to go? Hey. Yes, let's get started. Great. Not the best way to start our last week. Oh, sorry. I don't believe we've ever seen this many malfunctions all at the same time. We've also never had an unidentified spatial anomaly suddenly appear directly off our port bow. So they're first, really. You do realize it's possible we just made a groundbreaking scientific discovery. Well, let's not go writing our Nobel acceptance speeches just yet. Well, at least, not until we're certain the station isn't going to fall apart. So, uh, Vector, this is the single-player game. Um, and I believe when this game first launched, Echo VR was the multiplayer side of it. So, yeah, Cinema Central saying, dude. Hand capable gamer, how you doing? Cargo in the hold. Yeah, that much I worked out. Can you tell me why we have unsecured cargo in the hold? Negative. Okay, well, we might want to look into that. A lot of people tell me it's their favourite game, dude, so basically, I'm here to find out about it. Fully. Alright, Jack. Looks like there's a lot to do this morning. Any priority alerts? Well, it will be your station soon. What problem do you want to tackle first? Send the data to my ARM computer. I'll have a look. Yes. Send it over to my arm computer. Vector, yeah, man. Cheers for joining, guys. So everyone's telling me it's twenty nine ninety nine, and it doesn't sound like it's ever been on offer. Um, to be honest, I know it's an older game, but it looks brand new. Let's see. Take a look at your objectives on your arm computer, and let me know which one you want to address first. I'm hoping to just start at the top. To be honest. Let's fix the power failure in the oxygen garden. Okay, follow me. Let's go. Oh, can you take me there? 
a hold on to her leg this way. Whoa! <laughs> this nice is wicked. Attack. Oh, sorry. It's like a free taxi. That was so cool. Looks like the power failure knocked out the door to the oxygen garden. I'll pull the manual release. Okay. And of course, the access panel is stuck. Oops, sorry. Jack, I think you're going to have to cut through. I'll need to calibrate my reactive cutter first. Right. Considering the power outage, let's also calibrate your entry light. No worries. Training day. Module A, 901. Glad all the praise got you. I have played it before. I played like maybe half. Um, but I'm back now and I want to do the next series. We've got some new games coming. I know we have Five Nights at Freddy's and others Please next week. Pod and proceed to the door ahead. Bird Box, how's it going? Uh, typical. <laughs> Stuck in the access panel. And a oh, yeah. The yeah. Sorry about that. I forgot about that bit. Activate your reactive cutter by pressing the glowing touch point on the underside of your wrist. Ooh. Hide oh, I've cuttable surface. Use the reactive cutter to cut through the highlighted brackets. Oh, my. This game's just got bloody cooler. Okay, have I got one on both hands? Of course I have. Please Dual wheel through the highlighted brackets to proceed. Dual wielding cutters, though. Functionality test complete. Can Let's I dual wield them? Oh, no, I can't. Man, I'm looking forward to Lone Echo 2. Highlighting cuttable surface. Okay. Use your reactive cutter to cut out a portion of the highlighted panel. Once you have cut away enough of the panel, press the hollow button to complete this calibration module. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Yay! Hell yeah! Vector 10k. You never know, man. Helmet visor. It might all change tomorrow. You never know. We seem to be doing alright though at the moment. You can open and close your helmet visor by pressing the button on the left side of your helmet with your index finger. Okay. Please open your helmet visor now. <laughs> now please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. I'm playing sitting down now, Vector. That's part of the reason I have my camera off. Right, what, okay, what do I need to... activate your headlamp by pressing a button on the right side of your helmet. Once your headlamp is on, shine it on my location. Okay, hold on, that's where my mic is. Here we go. Well I am moving to new coordinates in the next room. Find me and shine your headlamp on my location. I don't know why I need the faceplate on though. Where is she then? Aha. Excellent. Please press the button on the right side of your helmet to turn off the headlamp and complete the module. Calibration module complete. Reactive <laughs> cutter and headlamp calibrated successfully. Oh, I'm back. Copy that. Cut through the access panel so we can pull the door release handle. No problems, Olivia. My human friend. Excellent, follow me. Let's get started. <laughs> oh, grab hold, there we go. Oh, she sneezed. She better not have corona. A personal space, Jack. Oh no, sorry. Hmm. Oh. Hope you're not afraid of the dark. Cross me then. Can you use your headlamp to help me find the electrical grid maintenance panel? Affirmative. I think that might be the thing that just highlighted over there. <laughs> Cinema. You know, you got to add this stuff. <laughs> Olivia, I've located the maintenance panel. Perfect. Oh, paradise. Put your light on it for a moment while I remove the cover. Okay. Is it, is it this one? Heads up, Jack. Coming through. Don't you want me to just cut it again? Is it me or does she kind of look a bit like Sharon Stone? It looks like we've got some fused wiring. 
Status report? The short caused a full system crash. We'll need to reset each of the environmental controls. Can you find the emergency junction while I sort out this mess? Okay. Got some tape. You will certainly be leaving Kronos 2 with a vast surplus of duct tape, Liv. That's because duct tape fixes everything. Everything? Tommy Pierce, how's it going? So. Oh, thank you. Cheers, dude. Thank you very much. It's lovely, man. Thanks. Just trust me on this. Duct tape is brilliant. Okay. I've reached the junction cover. Chris Jones. Just cut through the bolts. We can deal with the cleanup after we figure out what's wrong with the station. Affirmative. Going hot. I can't tell you how many times people are telling me how amazing this is. I'll need to use my scanner to link up with the I.O. port. Emergency power online. The backup conduit only has enough juice to diagnose one system at a time. Go ahead and get started when you're ready. <laughs> Vector, nice. Okay. Um, get away. So if I... Is that... The O2 mixture is off. I'll need to adjust the levels of atmospheric exchange. Careful with that, Jack. One of us still has to breathe the air here for the next few days. I'll need to redirect power from the junction first. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, so it's got to be center for central. Okay, I'm hoping. Yeah. So what are we looking at here? Pain in the ass. The air composition needs to stay balanced, Jack. Bio regenerative system yeah. calibrated. CO2 capture optimized for both plant and mammalian passengers. Mammalian, huh? How flattering. Apologies, Liv. I didn't mean to sound clinical. Once I'm gone, you'll probably be able to shut down this part of the ring. I think I'll keep it actually. To add color. Jack, you aren't starting to enjoy botany, are you? Right, okay. Yes. <laughs> a robot gardener. I guess the truth really is stranger than fiction. You all good in the chat, guys? Hopefully the stream's good now. Use the junction to Thank you. System. Thank you for being here, as always. GT, what's your record? How many people in the chat? Um, when I first streamed GTA... Um... 5 VR. Uh, I think I had 360 concurrently watching. Um, the other, and second to that was I think I was pretty much the very first person to ever stream Oculus Link uh, working. Not not 100% on that, but pretty much it went live, and I was sitting by my computer and I did it. Hydroponic systems. Is that sure? Uh, and that was a restored. I think that was a system within operating parameters. Good. That should help I think that got. I think I had about maybe a hundred eighty to two hundred people then. Let's tackle the last system. But yeah, it's for live streaming, dude. It's hit and miss. I I don't really know. Um, you know, I know there's not a lot of people live streaming, so maybe not a lot of people are looking for them. So, did you scan plants? I haven't scanned anything. I haven't scanned any plants. There you go. Is it really? Elmery, how's it going? Is it on the way in? Let's have a look. I'm just going to quit looking in the corner. Oh, by the way, uh, Paradise done a video earlier today. I think it was Layers of Fear he was he was playing. I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> he he does the video in a haunted um, cellar of his friends. I and in the, the irrigation system. In the video, he gets I pushed. Set the junction to power something else. Come on, dude. 
Like he says he feels like he got pushed by a ghost while doing the video. So uh, if you want to head over and check that out, man, it looks pretty cool. Right, let's get I think we can get the light this should get the lights on, surely. Very dark. The transformer can't form a complete circuit. We probably need to realign the coils. Run a scan to confirm. The coils have been damaged. Hmm. Shit. Yeah. Unlock them so we can get a closer look. Conversion coils unlocked. As long as we can still form one complete row, we should be able to get the transformer back online. Okay. Can I pull these out or what? Can you have them hanging out? Oh, cool. Okay. I wasn't sure if you could do Power that. Power current stabilized. Conversion process successful. Current strong. Nice. Nice job. Once I finish replacing these wires, we should be able to get the lights on. Let's look for PD's paradise. 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 It's a paradise plant. Para, verify all oxygen garden subsystems. Subsystems within normal parameters. Right. I'm about done here. Do you see the access panel near me? Despite the damage, the test groups appear unharmed. Oh, what does she want? Sorry. There you go. I see the access panel. Good. Nice. Uh, which one, man? The wizard's like the newest one. To wait and throw the main breaker on my mark. Got it? Okay. I'm just going to drink some coffee. Hold on. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Acknowledged. I will await your command before throwing the breaker. Oh crap, turn the light off. Here we go. Removing utility cover. Please stand by. I've got to pump the primer handle before you throw the breaker. Let me know when you're ready and I'll count us down. On your command. Acknowledged. Throw the switch in three, two... One, I'm clear. Oxygen garden operational. Nice. Environmental control systems restored. Wow, look at the colors. There's one more system we don't have to worry about. Hopefully it stays that way. Don't jinx it, Jack. There's no wood to knock on around here. Damn. That looks so cool. Well, there's still the ground fault in the cargo bay and the temperature spike in core containment. What's next on the agenda? Oh, no, sorry. I was just... Having to float around. Um. Let's get the cargo bay squared away. Okay. Follow me. Let's do that. One of the cargo banks must be malfunctioning. We probably blew a fuse. Thanks, I'd start yeah. by checking the fuse compartment at each cargo bank. Hera, unlock them, please. Just don't pull any good fuses, or we'll have loads more cleanup to do. The fuse looks intact. Power flow stable. Current looks stable. No problems here. Keep looking. Something went wrong in here. I think I've located the problem. This fuse is blown. We'll need a replacement. Affirmative. Wait there. I'll bring you a new one from the supply. Oh, right, cinema. No, because... Oh, damn. I'm not sort of glad to do dares, but... Let's see what happens. Jack, that's not... Oh, now you did it. Can I put it back? Oops. That was a good fuse, Jack. Put yeah. it back. I did. Oh. This hell. should do it. She's genuinely quite cross. Thank you. Got you covered. Oh, crap, he broke it. Power flow restored. Mag locks coming online. Copy that. Go ahead and secure the cargo. Oh, man. I'll do it in a little while. Let me get this cargo thing done. Standard Atlas Corporation cargo containers. Where does that go? Secured. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Cinema, that was completely your fault, dude. Oh, shh. Mate, the zero G stuff. Here we go. 
Strong contact from the Maglocks. That's one down. Um. Yeah, my back thrust is still not working. Come on, faster, faster. Cinema, no worries, man. Take care. Off me. Okay. Still have a couple of modules to go through. Oh, right, gotcha, man. Cheers, thank you. Are you guys looking forward to the link on this Wednesday? This is designed to purge high levels of radiation. Hopefully, we never have to use it. Unit 16, what is your current assignment? Current assignment. Separate Captain Rhodes' personal effects from Atlas Corporation property in preparation for her upcoming departure. Acknowledged. Carry on. I'm not sure if he's asking permission. What is the best game you've ever played? Beat it straight on it. This. It's really cool, like the zero G side of things. Looks like one more. Um, oh, there's one of those uh, cube things. We can do that on the way. So looking for this other bit that I can't. I can't see. Done. An encrypted audio file. Curious. When the anomaly scrambled the CubeSat, it inadvertently connected them to a secure Atlas Corporation network. If I scan more of them, I may be able to crack the encryption. No worries, Vector. That's what I'm all about, man. Even if you just pop in for a couple of minutes, if you see something really cool and is virtuality based, it's a win for me. Cargo secure. Good. Now you just have to clean up the rest of the mess you made. Hey? Do I? Oh, okay. Just one more to go. All the cargo has been stowed. Happy? Let's lock the system down to make sure this doesn't happen again. I'll throw the lockdown lever. Um, Liv, where is the lockdown lever? Don't Careful. worry. Sorry, I was just gonna say I found it. Lockdown engaged. Thanks, Jack. I feel better already. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Yes. That just leaves the temperature spike in core containment. Follow me, Jack. Yeah. Don't go too quick. I need a lift. Give me a lift, please. Some stupid wrist boosters. God damn it. Oh, it's in here find anything nothing conclusive your body is radiation hardened care to take a look inside i'll see what i can ascertain hera disable all containment safety I protocol i think i remember this bit acknowledged this isn't good manual operation this isn't good for me head on in i'll see you on the other side that door looks very thick yeah Yeah, I do need a boost. Beated. Right, you need to seal yourself in before we can expose the cause, Jack. It feels like we're in it together. Did, did you find that when you played it? Like, you actually do feel like you're in here. I should finish calibrating my radio. She's amazingly detailed. Acknowledged. Standing by. Okay. <coughs> radiation shield. Module A, 251. Radiation. Oh, nice. Yo, JD, how you doing? You're good, guys. Thank you for joining. Your scanner can detect hazardous radiation fields capable of damaging you. Please activate your scanner and use it to assess the irradiated area ahead. No problems. You gonna tell me how to do it?
Do, is it this? Please activate your scanner. Oh. And scan the irradiated zone in front of. Oh, them. the scanner. Sorry. Yeah. Your scanner places tracking points that display the area's radiation level. When you are ready to proceed, please exit the activation pod. I love it. Radiation shield will protect you for a limited time. A shield meter is located on both of your wrists below your arm computer. You can use this to monitor oh, your shield cool. levels. Now please use your scanner to find the least hazardous route through the room and oh. reach the exit. Higher levels of radiation will drain your shield faster. The radiation monitor on your wrist displays the radiation level of your current location. 107. So basically on the corners of the room. Just stick to the walls. If your shield is depleted, your body will suffer irreparable damage. Please be careful. Yeah, it's not looking good already. You can draw energy from induction panels to replenish your radiation ah! shield. This module will complete when your shield is fully recharged. Please pull the handle toward you to begin recharging. Calibration module oh. complete. Please stand by. I feel, so, I feel so much better now. JD, apparently not. Fully operational. Copy that. Let's get started by opening the core enclosures. The code is 5826. Authorization accepted. Uh, Momo, yeah, man, I've done a full playthrough on the Quest and uh, PCVR. That explains the temperature spike. At least one of the fusion cores is leaking radiation. Your scanner should help you zero in on the source. Hmm, pretty far off the mark. Try scanning somewhere else. Nice shot. I'd say that warrants a closer look. I'll activate the I.O. port so you can scan it to open the enclosure. What? What, that one? Surely it'd be that one as well, then. Strange. VR Hub, how's it going? What have we got to do? <laughs> yeah. Shields at 95%. Have I got to do something down here? Is it, is it something on the sides? How do I get in there? Yeah. All right. I think he just wants another scan, maybe. No. Ah, oh, there we go. Enclosure unlocked. We need to scan the individual cores to determine which is causing the problem. Okay. No. Oh, can I just scan him through here? Micro fractures in the fuel assembly. Radiation at unsafe levels. That could contaminate the entire fuel reserve. We'll need to jettison the core. To unlock it, enter 6102 at the central console. Oh, what did she say? 61 what? X where is it going? Oh, nice! <laughs> wow, man. Oh, what did she say? What did she say, guys? What did she say? I can't remember. Could you please repeat the code? Yes, please. The code is I'm 6102. I'm a forgetful robot. Oh. Core release. 2018. The disposal conduit that is the awesome. Of the chamber. All right, guys, thank you. Sorry. The chat was a little bit delayed. Once you open the conduit, you'll need to seat the core into the launch tube and use the lever to eject it. Keep an eye on your shield levels while you're in transit. Yeah, no worries. Uh, the lever? Have we got a Emergency disposal conduit online. Fusion core marked for disposal. Do Stand it. by. Awaiting manual confirmation. Cool. Radioactive material jettisoned. The area is still irradiated. That is awesome. There has to be another damaged core. It was this Check one, wasn't the other it? enclosures. I'll keep looking. A second hotspot. I'm activating the I.O. port so you can check the enclosure. Is it a code again? I can't remember.
I thought she's done a code. Maybe she's... Oh, it's there, isn't it? What was the last one? 60 something. This core is similarly damaged. Bloody hell. It has to go. Punch in 7641 at the central console to unlock it. Same routine here. Run it to the disposal conduit and jettison the core. Shields at 50%. Disposal conduit. 50? Fusion core marked for disposal. Stand by. Awaiting manual confirmation. No worries. Punch it. Radioactive material jettisoned. Radiation levels returning to normal. Thank God for that. Nice. Looks like we live to fight another day. Let's shut the enclosures so we can get you out of there. Re-enter the code in the center console. 5826. Core containment re-engaged. Hmm. You're looking a bit worse for wear. Maybe you should use your arm computer to upload to another shell? Initiating manual reboot. Reboot initiated. Brand new body, guys. Brand new body. Absolutely mental. Cinema's back, how you doing? It's kind of like a out of game, punch it, Bishop. <laughs> that is really cool. Here I am. I'll oh. meet you on the other side, by the hatch. Sharp, Jack. Did you get dolled up for me? <laughs> Sexy body. She's flirting with me, dude. I know you like it when I look my best. Such a gentleman. Chamber temperature is back within normal limits. Nice job in there, Jack. Check out my Thank old you. body. I never really thought right. of that. That ought to do it. Right. We're all set. Hey, Jack. Oh yeah. High five. He does look a bit mank. Oh, high five. Hold on. There you go. Thanks. I appreciate the help, Jack. That's what I'm here for. And here I thought it was to keep me from going round the bend. I chose to abandon that directive some time ago. Shut up. That's not funny. Oh, sorry. I grabbed that Captain button. Rhodes, full spectrum scan of the anomaly is complete. All oh. right, Hera. Push the results to the hollow table in the EVA staging. I'm genuinely like excited to find out what the results of this scan are, man. Let's go have a look at the results. Maybe we'll learn something useful about this anomaly of ours. That does seem likely, considering we currently know nothing at all. Mm, I suppose <laughs> I can't argue with that. I don't know if my, my, my character's a little bit sarcastic. Okay, Jack. Let's see what we have. Hera, status report. Status, green. All systems nominal. Yes. Well, that's good news. But what about our anomaly? Where is it? Hera, display the anomaly's current location. Acknowledged. Ah, there we go. Wait, hang on. Hera, is this image to scale? Affirmative. So the anomaly has increased in size. Not a good sign. Let's get a closer look. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Curious. I can't make head nor tail out of any of this data. What about you? 
The data appears to have been corrupted somehow. It's the same for all the readings. Spectrometer, interferometer, LIDAR, all rubbish. Interference from the anomaly must be disrupting the transmission signal. So, our sensor network is useless. What now? What you reckon, guys? Uh. I'll exit the station and investigate the anomaly up close. Absolutely not. If I use my scanner, I can bypass the sensor network. I'll be able to examine the data in real time. This one. We've seen what that thing can do to your systems. What if you get shut down out there? You don't want to talk. I do, I do, I do. Sorry. I get it. I do. Oh, damn. Sorry. I do want to talk. Ah. Okay. Okay, well... No sense wasting any more time, then. Let's get you into the airlock. Sharpish. So what year Caution. is this? Oh, airlock God. opening. So we can find roughly what year Jack. this is, is based. Did you just scan me? I did. Sorry. It's kind of like my thing. It's what I do. So this is like what? She was born in 2091. Crazy. Oh, you can go down as well. Right, anyway. Geeky shit. Uh, Don't worry, Liv. I'll be fine. I know. I just wish we had another option. Well, no sense in putting it off. Let's get you out the airlock. Yeah, Vita's, yeah, 21 something. Yeah, I mean, I reckon she's what? If you're going out there, you'll need an EVA rig. There should be some inside the airlock. Just take one off the rack. You'll need to secure the rig to your back. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying. It doesn't want to go. No. Could you put it on? EVA rig secured. Yeah. Initializing advanced movement system. It is five to five to ten. Five to ten, basically, at night. Oh, is this where you learn about the boosters? Okie dokie. 21, 26. Not long then, really. Your EVA pack allows you to boost forward in the direction you are looking. When you are ready, please exit the activation pod and use your EVA boost to reach the console ahead. That's better. Well done. Please press the hollow button to continue. Now boost to the end of the hall before the walls close in on you. Multiple boosts may be required. Excellent. Smash that. Module M116. Breaking thrusters. Breaking thrusters? Do we need that? Right this stick. module will calibrate your breaking thrusters which allow you to stop in place without grabbing any surface. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. There are two target zones in the next room. Please boost into one of the zones and use your braking thrusters to come to a full stop. Oh God, it's like Gran Turismo all over again. Success. Now, use your braking thrusters to stop inside target zone A. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Woo! EVA rig fully functional. Ready to disembark. Copy. Cool. Airlock controls I'm unlocked. In space. Pull down on the handle to close the inner door. Uh, okay. The inner handle. Oh. Once the inner door is sealed, you're clear to cycle the airlock. Inner bulkhead sealed. <laughs> Macho, nice. Cinema, yeah, it does seem that way. Without what? Is there another handle? Do I have to do that again? Oh. Once the airlock is cycled, head outside and make your way to the anomaly. Get a scan if possible, but don't put yourself at any unnecessary risk. Okay. Understood. I'm going back up to the bridge. I can keep a better eye on your status from there. 
Keep this comm channel open. Maintain constant contact. Copy that. Let's go. Depressurization complete. Yes. Ready for EVA departure. Be careful out there. I'm always careful. You know what I mean. Exiting port side airlock. Copy. There should be a Fury transport dock just outside the airlock. Should take you straight to the anomaly. You'll need to run a diagnostic check before you can take off. Oh my Understood. god, dude. That's a bit crazy. That is awesome. That is... That is, uh... That is something else, to be honest. That is awesome. Can I can I find out? Oh, look, look at that. Can't find out anything about it. Okay. Right, let's go. Grab, 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 grab. Oh. Hit the floor. Prep for RCS thruster calibration. Please hold on to the railing for the duration of the test flight. Okay. Initiating RCS thruster test in three, two. Well, it feels like one. we're on a, a roller coaster. Yeah, what's happening? Are we off? You know why you're Where are we going then? RCS thruster check complete. Okay. Proceeding to primary thruster calibration. Reminder. Please hold on to the railing. Igniting what? primary thrusters. Nothing's actually happened yet. Three, two, one. Ooh. Nice. Oh, we've gone backwards. Oh, sh Fury transport calibration complete. Yeah. Lib, the Fury transport is set for flight. Great. Coordinates have already been uploaded to the NAVCOM. Just touch the marked location on the hollow map and you'll be on your way. I'm on a teaser. Select the bridge. your destination. Good luck. <laughs> this is like uh, the coolest lift ever. I'm ready. I'm underway. Distance to anomaly 4,800 meters. Copy that. An another one's ready. That is so 3, cool. 3,500 meters. And now we're both going the same speed so I can let go. 2,000 meters. Steady as she goes. Godspeed. Look at that thing. Just incredible. Dante, this is so cool. Oh. Jack! The Furious malfunction. I have no control. I'm drifting toward the anomaly. Remote link's been severed. I can't reboot the transport. Are we flying towards the thing? Oh my god. How do we change? What does it do? That's nothing. Liv, I'm taking radiation damage. Abort, Jack! Get out of there now! Uh. Evacuating Fury. Hurry, Jack! Get clear of that radiation! Stand by. Jack, the Fury has completely dropped off my scope. Total loss of signal. It, it's just. it's gone. On approach, I noticed the anomaly was pulling the surrounding debris into its center. You think the anomaly is housing some kind of singularity? Yeah, that would be consistent with my observations, yes. Needless to say, I doubt we'll be seeing that Fury transport again. Okay. Well, so much for scanning the anomaly up close. Hello, Robert Robbins. How you doing? I'm literally just using all my boosters to get away. And we're getting quicker and quicker, which is pretty cool. Liv, I'm clear of the radiation. You all right? Still functional. Though I must say my shell isn't exactly in the best condition. In that case, I recommend using your arm computer to reboot. It's the quickest way back to the station. And you can start fresh in a new shell. Oh, really? Do I have to? Oh, did you just come out? Reboot Literally. Initiated. I think those disturbances might actually be electromagnetic pulses. You might not be able to scan the anomaly up. Oh, okay. I think 
think we can reconfigure a geological sensor to do the trick. How so? Well, if we can use it to read fluctuations in the magnetic field, we should be able to get a look inside. There's just one, well, several problems. Go on. We've got failures all over the facility. For this plan to work, we'll first need to clear up some problems in the container field, the primary dig site, and the processing line. Send the details to my Select computer. your destination. Done. Let me know when you arrive at the sites. Destination, primary dig site. Preparing for thruster ignition. Nice. Please hold on. Is that a line? <laughs> That's cool. Oh, this is, I could have flown here. <clears throat> I'm good, man, I'm good. I've got a new sexy body, dude. It's a bit weird. It feels like you've done something wrong. It does. Uh, it, yeah, you're right. That's quite strange, isn't it? Approaching primary dig site. Any sign of activity? The whole site's gone dark, and we need the comms array there to boost the data buffer from our sensor sweep. All systems appear offline. <clears throat> Emergency lighting only. Damn. Well, clearly something went wrong here. I'm sensing a pattern. No kidding. That should be the new Kronos 2 mission patch. Just something went wrong. In big, bold letters. Anyway, better get to it. Let me know what you find. Warning. Hazardous levels of radiation detected. Oh, again. Right on cue. I'll try to get the site's radiation dampener online. Good idea. Make sure to check its backup power supply. It may have a dead battery. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. Well, I, don't, I don't know where to go at the moment. Uh, generator, that sounds promising. <clears throat> That's way too much radiation, Jack. We'll need to activate the dampening field before you can safely investigate that area. A fusion generator. More than capable of powering the entire dig site. Shields at 50%. Uh, okay. Where, where do I go? Drill. Hold on, what's this? Ready, there we go. Shields at 30%. This radiation damper will allow me to safely investigate the dig site, but I need to reactivate it first. Agreed. I'm, I'm gonna die. Battery removed. It's definitely depleted. Well, that explains that. Your fury transport should have a spare you can replace it with. Oh. Oh, for sake. Reboot initiated. The backup battery should be on the aft of the transport. I'm, st I'm, I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck in the ship, dude. <laughs> I can't get out of it. <laughs> I can't get away. Um, how do I do this? Look, I'm stuck. There should be a fresh battery at the Fury Transport. Yeah, there is. I just can't move. I'm, I'm stuck in the game. Let me have a walk around see if I can get out. I simply cannot move. What am I going to do? Reload my game? Crazy times. <sighs> Let's see what happens. I think it's don't once had to restart, but not here. Right, okay. Mission patch. Just something went wrong in big bold letters. Right, nice. Just, anyway, better get to it. Let me know what you find. Warning: hazardous levels of radiation detected. Right on cue. Hold on. I'll try to get the site's radiation dampener online. Can I Good grab idea. the bloody battery now? Make sure to check its backup power supply. It may have a dead battery. So, it should allow me to grab one now then. Really? Yeah, there it is. Since we know what's going to happen, we might as well. Nice. Oh, it's over here, dude. Hold on. 
it stayed uh battery removed it's definitely depleted well that explains that your fury transport should have a spare you can replace it with power restored i should be able to turn the dampener on now dampener online geiger readings nominal nice job Whew. that should buy you some time if the dampener goes down again you can recharge the battery back at the fury No worries. Uh, let me see if I can get my chat back. Alright, cool. Oh my game, did you get stuck in the new? Oh, okay, dude. Yeah, I did. Shields at fifty percent. Alright, okay. Uh, just gonna try and highlight the game on the PC. There we go. That's better. Most games run better when, uh, when they're like the main thing. Dude, my Shields body's ruined. The Fury Transport should have an induction panel where I can recharge. Oh, we've got to go back to the Fury anyway. God damn it. Dante, I don't know. I. It wasn't earlier, dude. Where is it then? Oh, was it that Looks thing like I was? The dampener lost power. I should recharge the battery of the Fury transport. Is that good? Are we good? We're good. I think we're good. Jano, I don't really know in terms of um, the story, dude. Like, basically, I've reignited the dampener at the dig site, if that means anything to anyone. Right, now it's time to do the generator, I think. Shields at 95%. There we go. Looks like the dampener lost power. I should recharge the battery of the Fury transport. The what? What is actually happening? I'll put a new battery in. No worries, my mate. Oh my. Yeah. Take care, dude. Looks like the dampener lost power. I should recharge the battery of the Fury transport. Is this game broken? Like, I've just, I've just done that. Shields at fifty percent. This is a full. This battery's full. What the? F the battery's stuck in the Shields thing. Shields at thirty percent. Right. Okay. Dude, are we good? Are you happy? Is it going to lose power again? It looks like it's losing power already. Right, what do I do? Where do I go? Oh, I'm stuck. Generator. A fusion generator. More than capable of powering the entire dig site. Based on the radiation, I bet that generator has a damaged core. Look for a maintenance panel that you can cut open. On it. Maintenance panel removed. How's it look? The main reactor appears to be intact, but the fuel rod is partially melted. Damn it. Better jettison it then. It may be good to scan it first though. The data could prove useful. Severe thermal damage detected. Main fuel supply depleted. Depleted? Helium fusion rods can last a century. 
How could it discharge that much energy so quickly without exploding? Well, if you have a moment, could you scan those labor units too? The data could help me Security figure out what happened. Security disengaged. See ya. Fuel rod jettisoned. Generator systems offline. Radiation dissipating. That core seems to have been the only source. Oh, well, cool. Now, just get the generator a new fuel rod and re-engage the locking mechanisms. There should be a spare in the site's core enclosure. Okay. Well, we need to scan one of these bad boys. Broad spectrum lattice displacement. These labor units have suffered catastrophic radiation damage. And all without setting off a radiation alarm or abandoning the site. It must have been sudden. That settles it. Let's get rid of the fuel rod. It's too dangerous to keep around. I've just done that. Okay. Right, where, where do I go now? We just go and have a look round. Hello, Jen. Hey, we do one. Oh, nice. Um, where can I go? You'll oh, find a replacement ready. fuel rod by the comms array, Jack. Comms array? Uh, yeah, Facebook, yeah, that's right. Ready at dawn. That's the solar panel. Solar panel. Where is the comms array? I haven't seen a comms array for a long time, so it's hard to remember. That looks like something important. No, I've never played it. I've never played Wilson's Heart. It's coming to the quest though, isn't it? So, um, I just thought I'd wait now. For the quest version. Core acquired. Returning to the generator. New fuel element accepted. Please re-engage safety protocols. Control rods engaged. Fusion reaction initiated. Please initiate a manual nice. reboot. No worries, Robert. Look after yourself. Thanks for dropping in, man. Connection with primary dig site re-established. Excellent. I pulled a few labor units out of mothballs to mount the antenna while you finish the repairs. You'll need to assemble them before you move on. A fury transport should arrive with them shortly. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Arm um, for you, sir. That way, I'm well, sorry. The data from your scans is bizarre. <gasps> Shit. Oh. This sort of erosion. How could it have happened instantaneously? Could the radiation have corrupted the data? Mm, possibly. But that can't be the only factor. This anomaly isn't just a mass of radiation. There's, there's more to it than that. I'm certain now. Labor unit online. Proceeding with primary assignment. It's like a transformer. 
that never transforms into anything else but a robot. What is your problem, dude? That way. There you go. No? Where'd you go on that side? Who packed this, man? Sorry. Grabbing his, uh... The old robot, the robot jewels. Labor unit online. Labor units Proceeding online. With, primary with them design. managing the data flow. I see that, Jock. Look after yourself, man. We're ready to scan. Thank you, you sir. Until something goes wrong. I figured that went without saying. Okay, good start. We still need to find out what happened on the processing line and at the container field. Let me know when you find out more. Oh, and Jack, if you have a moment. Search the primary dig site for another labor unit. I'm getting a signal from one nearby and we could use the extra set of hands. Okay. Container field. Right. Whatever, dude. So am I just uh, floating around this rock, looking for stuff? Cause it certainly feels that way. What the hell's that? What is that? My sensors are picking up a signal from deeper inside this cave. Ah, oh, Vitas. Oh, cheers, man. It is cool, isn't it, when someone, when you watch someone experience something you enjoy. See how they enjoy it. Oh, he's not even built. Should we scan him? Do I scan him first? Liv, I found the labor unit. It has been dismembered, and it may have suffered internal damage as well. Try to get its limbs reattached at least. We can perform a more thorough diagnostic later. What if he's a baddie? Is he a baddie? Can you... Stop doing that, dude. Yeah, there you go. Do you know what I mean? He might have been dismantled for a reason, a bit like Data's evil twin in Star Trek. One day. Oh, it's his arm, dong. <laughs> oh, I could have built him wrong. That'd have been funny. Not for him, obviously. Repairs complete. Unit thirty-eight. Are you operational? Affirmative. I feel lovely. Just lovely. How are you? You have definitely sustained internal damage. Negative. This unit is operating at 10,000% efficiency. As you can see, the bridge is in excellent condition. This is a cave. Negative, negative, negative. This is the bridge. I recommend you schedule yourself for maintenance, Echo One. You are being very negative. Liv, I found the missing labor unit near the primary dig site and... Well, it's disoriented. What the hell do you mean by that? Is that Captain Rhodes? Are you speaking to Captain Rhodes? Please tell her that I am nearly finished clearing her browsing history, as requested. Maybe you should just <laughs> leave it alone for now. That may be for the best. Hello, Richard. Hello, Robert. Nice. Unit 38, status report. Status. Still lovely. Oh, so lovely. Unit 38. You mentioned browsing history? 
I am sorry, Echo One. That is a classified assignment given to me by Captain Rhodes. Please, wipe your memory of that conversation. I, I want to say, for the record, that I never told it to do that. Is that Captain Rhodes? Please tell Jack, her. Jack, please. Please stop talking to that android. <laughs> Unit 38. What do I do? Status. Still lovely. Oh, so lovely. Wipe his hard drive. Yeah, how? Where do, where do they keep it? In the bar? Where is it? Dude, where's your hard drive? Can't cut him open. Oh, that's it. Okay, no worries. Back out into space. Hit him around the head. <laughs> I did try and punch him, but nothing seemed to occur. That fuel he's... rod was completely inert. It should have been good for another century before it burned down. Something very strange is going on here. Okay. Exactly, am I supposed to be doing now? Again. These solar panels should be providing the site with backup power. The anomaly must have damaged them. They might not have the wattage to operate the comms array anyway. We barely get enough solar energy here to power the comms stat, let alone a whole dig site. Yeah, Robert is very impressive. So we can cut open. No. The drills at the primary dig site are functional. No signs of damage from the anomaly. Good. Those don't yield as much helium as the blocks we send to the processing line. But losing them would still hurt our numbers. Check out your missions. Uh, oh, that one. There we go. Container field. Let's get the container field. What's it? Oh, okay. Let's go over there then. Where's the processing line? And what the hell is a processing line when it's at home? Oh, right, okay. Uh, we'll do whatever's closer. We'll get some power first. Cheers, guys. Thank you. It's a lot to take in when you first play a game, you know? And you play a lot of games. Cool, we're Select done here. your destination. Destination, Kronos 2. Preparing for thruster ignition. See, like, shout out to go after yourself. How you doing, Richard? You good? If anyone who doesn't know, Richard Wiley is my brother. I love this. That is so cool. That's it. Jesus, I'm going so fast, man. Ah! I, I forgot. I was obviously doing the same speed as the, <laughs> as the thing. <laughs> oh, man. Bloody hell. Oh.
That was crazy how quick I flew by that. That looks like somewhere we need to go. Inbound on the processing line. So we're going to need a lot of energy for this sensor sweep, but the pulse knocked out the flow control on the plasma nades. They're burning out of control and draining the power reserves. One of us will need to enter the processing line and reach the emergency reset. Well, I'd do it if you'd let me. That is very much against protocol. Thought you might see it that way. Keep the comm channel open. I'll help you out as best as I can from here. The pulse has the electronics in that area on the fritz. If you reset the power transformer, I may be able to run a diagnostic. The door is sealed, but it looks like some of the labor units are still online. Well, they're not responding to comms. If you reset the transformer above you, I might be able to get one to open the line for you. Assist you. No. Grid stabilized. The control hub in that area is back online. I've re-established contact with the labor unit manning the line entrance below. He should open the door for you. Nice. Echo unit identified. Opening service entrance. I should be able to reach the manual reset on the other end of the line. You mean past the inferno of white hot plasma? Correct. Which is precisely why I'm the one doing it. Um, the old boy Brown. How long is the game roughly? I don't know. Where's the entrance then? Sorry, God. Is the game jittery again? Oh, there it is. Beaters, it's okay here. It looks fabulous. <laughs> oh, sh Jack. Jack, are you there? Another EMP. Status report? All clear here. But the line's throttle controls just went haywire. Be careful in there. This looks dangerous. You played through it three times. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, do, do, do. a lot of flotsam. Better make sure nothing's jammed the conveyor systems. Could cause problems when we reboot. I'll inspect the ice pallets. Um. Yeah, that, that, that would cause an issue, though, wouldn't it? Looks like a piece is wedged under the conveyor unit. Well, try and dig it out so it doesn't jam the reset protocols. It looks like it's coming out. Melted clean through. Maintenance units shouldn't be entering the line while the cutting systems are active. Something's very wrong here. Right, hold on. If it, if it's stuttering, guys, let me go to my settings and turn some stuff down. Let's see what's happening. Put that to medium. See if it makes any difference. Let me know, because that, that seems quite smooth. <laughs> 45 million times better. <gasps> oh, dude. 
Oh, sh More debris. Make sure you clear any jammed conveyors before moving on. Okay. I don't want to get... I don't want to get dead at the, in the same... At the same thing. Uh, oh. A lot of my fellow robot peeps are causing... Something must have interfered with the NAV protocols. Yeah, it looks like. Labor units shouldn't just run face first into a hostile environment. Is the stream better, guys? Is it is the game less jittery now? The game actually started jittering for me as well a bit earlier. I don't really understand why. Over time. Dude, this looks well dangerous. Any sign of a working Oh Rich, that was awful. Not yet. Most command functions are processed in a unit's head. Well, if you see one, give it a scan. I could use the data. Pallet clear. Stubborn bastard. Cheers, Dante. GT on a scale one center because this game. So far, um, it's not as action-y as I was hoping for. Graphically, it's a 10. Um, it looks fantastic. The sound, everything about it so far. Um, without knowing any more gameplay, though, and where it's going to go, I'd put it at like an 8 at the moment. Definitely. I just want to do more of it, you know. Shh. Oh my god. Approaching watch station. The switch there should trigger an emergency reboot. I've located some intact command modules. My scanner should be able to pull the drive data. Good find. With any luck, the data clusters are still intact. Direct connection established. Synchronizing data stream. Nav data purged. Kronos uplink lost. Executing last known command. Collision detected. Damage report. Unavailable. Lower limbs non-ambulatory. Upper limbs non-ambulatory. Excessive command feedback. Critical failure. All systems. Shutting down. <sighs> Well, that was certainly horrifying. Reset in progress. Oh, power output back within normal parameters. We should have plenty of energy for the scan. Nice moves in there. Just watching that was giving me a cardiac. We're almost there. We still need to investigate the container field. Update me when you arrive. This beats I'm every game I should get. Encryption. Jay plays, man. If I find more CubeSats, I should be able to save the completed audio file to my ARM computer. That will let me share any files I find with Liv once I've gathered enough information. There's a ton of junk data in these logs. But it doesn't look random. It's almost like it was trying to process multiple dig sites at once. That should have triggered an emergency shutdown. We should be careful. Dude, like... Beat Saber is a legendary game. Um, I think every VR owner should own Beat Saber, to be honest. It's a great game. It's not my favourite um, music game, to be fair. It, it, uh, my favourite one is Synth Riders, because personally I prefer the music in Synth Riders. But I think Beat Saber is a better game, you know, because you're getting to use the lightsabers, chopping the blocks and stuff. Um, visually, it's really nice as well. So... Yeah, dude, I would say it's definitely one of those games that every virtual reality owner should should at least try. Um, I can't remember if there's a demo of Beat Saber. I don't know. Are you on the Quest or PC? But either way, dude, you've got the two-hour refund policy as well, so um, make use of it, man. Make use of it. Check stuff out. Right, let's go. Container field next. Where is that? Oh god, it's miles away. Is there a Is there a ship anywhere? No, okay. Jakey Boy Games. Dude, you've got a wicked uh, profile picture. I know someone else has just said it, but it's very cool. Alright, we'll get this done and we'll call we'll call it a day for a part one and after this bit. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 
Cheers, BB. Earlier today, we had a four-hour private live stream with um, all the channel members and the patrons. It was really cool. We're picking up latent radiological activity in that area. We went bowling in Rick's room. Must have contaminated the cargo. There's no way we'll get a clear read on the anomaly with all that interference. You'll need to find the source of the radiation and jettison it. My scanner should help me track down the culprit. Best guess, I'd say you're looking for levels around 80 or 90 decigrades. If you get into trouble, remember you can use the Fury module's induction panel to recharge your shields. Okay. 40. I forgot to scan every single one of these, you're joking. Zero, zero. What was that one? Shields at ninety five percent. Yeah, that's cool. Zero, zero. Oh, there's one over there. Travis, uh, he's probably doing his own thing, dude. What was that one? If you're looking for BMF, man, you might have to head over to his channel. <laughs> Zero. God damn, this game is so gorgeous. Zero. Okay, so it's none of these on this particular ship. MQ. Everyone said that today. Everyone's talking about Lone Echo. It's really weird. I don't know why. I don't know what... Whether it's like subjectively in people's minds or something, you know, of ready at dawn, infected people, because a lot of people have said that today. They want to know if it's on sale. What's she looking for? 90. Radiation absorption at 30 decigrees and climbing. You're getting warmer. Watch yourself. 54, 53. That one, forty-six, sixty-two. Okay, thirty-two. Thirty-three. <sighs> okay. Right, it's zero again, so it's one of these. Now I'm a VR beast. Nice, man. I'm hoping to um, get a better you know, GPU one day. 26. Zero. One. Well. We need to track down the source of the radiation, Jack. I'm trying. She said she was looking for 90s though, I don't... It do, yeah, it does. It really does. Oh, that's cool, Vitids. I've never seen anyone stream it, but then I... I'm, the only virtual reality stream I really watch is... Well, it's me. <laughs> I don't really watch anyone else. And obviously, I don't really watch myself. I just play games, so... Come on, man. It's taking forever. Gee. Oh, that would really give you a headache if that actually happened. Hmm. Over there was the one, wasn't it? That's true, Vitids. I just wanted to make sure I covered the classics, you know? Like, 
I intend this channel to be around for a long time, so when people ask if you played this game, I can go, yep, done it. I can use my scanner to pinpoint the source of the radiation. What do you I've been doing for ages? Dude, this is not going well. Right, let's go up. Agitated deuterium ions ah. detected. Deuterium? That's a hydrogen isotope. How'd that end up in one of our helium? Jack Stone. Yeah, you know it, man. Unclear. The processing line is configured to scrub any excess hydrogen. Ah, oh, sod it. For now, let's just deal with the contamination. I'll dispatch a fury to remove the irradiated container. Nice. Wait, something's wrong. What is it? I... I can't get the fury transport I'm dying, to dude. from the container on the upper rack. I can throw the manual override on the fury's hitch. Stand by. I'll make my way up there now. I'm just going to charge up uh, my battery and then go back. I was, um, Monstrum, someone sent that to me in in the Discord, and I couldn't get it to work in VR, um, but yeah, it's a horror game that I've got, and I've been told I need to check it out, so. Right, we're back. Ugh. Oh, we're over there, we're over there, we're over there, we're over there. It's scary as hell. Well, that sounds bloody awesome. Approaching Fury Transport. Careful. Once you decouple the transport's hitch, the autopilot's likely to kick in. So either get clear or find something to hold on to. The Fury's stuck on the upper rack. Fury hitch released. Autopilot's taking over. So far, so good. Shields at 95%. Right, we're going to have to hitch this up, yeah? Ah! Jack? Are you alright? Affirmative. But the container was breached. The contamination is spreading. Well, that certainly didn't go as planned. Okay, I've got an idea. If I release the container's maglocks, the Fury should just carry it away. Oh, or it would if the controls were actually responding. God damn, I'm so busy. You know what? Screw it. Just cut the power. Maybe that'll do it. Considering the damage, are you sure that's wise? Wise? Definitely not. But will it work? Only one way to find out. Do I need to mention this is a gross violation of protocol? It's either this or risk contaminating the entire shipment. Sometimes you just have to improvise. Ah! Holy sh... What the hell just happened? Explosive decompression. The escaping gas caused the container to jettison itself. Okay, so not exactly what we were aiming for, but... Uh, well, I suppose that takes care of our radiation. It's going into the anomaly. Good work. <laughs> The sensor should be able to scan the anomaly free of interference. Jack, looks like everything's back up and running. Affirmative. Grab a fury and head for the depleted dig site. I'll fill you in on the way. Hold on. Something's wrong with that fury transport. The one that collided with the container? What's wrong with it? I'm... I'm really not sure. It's moving erratically. Veering wildly off its flight path. Could be a problem with the fury's flight dynamics. Probably just need to reset the navcom. If you get a chance, would you mind looking into it? Copy that. I'm, I'm here. Sure, I think we might need to resynchronize the container field's inventory control system. Whoa. Are these issues urgent? Not really. Jesus. Neither one's going to keep us from scanning the anomaly. Consider them both secondary priorities. <laughs> nice. Good work, Jack. What is it? Nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was just... It was like watching some sort of weird robot rodeo. 
Cowboy Jack ropes himself a fury. <laughs> she loves me so much. Liv, the transport. What should I do with it? <laughs> okay, okay. Hold your horses there, partner. Just leave the fury where it is for now. I'll have Hera run some diagnostics on it before I reconnect the remote link. Copy that. I'm moving on. Happy trails, pilgrim. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's cool, Jack. Select your destination. Uh, I think she wants to go to the dig site. This one. Destination depleted dig site. Preparing for thruster ignition. What's that over Please there? Hold on. Oh, what is that over there? Where'd it go? En route to the depleted dig site. Good. When you get there, you'll need to aim the sensor array at the anomaly. I'm heading out to rig up the transponder. I thought we agreed that you'd stay on board the station. Sorry, Jack. I need a direct line into the lathe systems to siphon the power supply. Liv, the plasma lathes have already malfunctioned once. That's extremely dangerous. Relax. I double-checked the fail-safes and I've shut down the main relays. I'm following protocol to the letter. Mostly. Confidence inspiring. I've reached the depleted dig site. Are you in position? Just arrived. Go ahead and bring it online. I'll manage the power supply from here. Affirmative. I'll activate the site's generator. Right. Just make sure you've completed all your other tasks before you get started. This scan could take a while. I'll need you there. Dude, it sounds like Monstrum. We need to we need to uh, play that ASAP. Uh, where is the generator? No? That is, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I know I'm not in the reflection, but it's pretty cool. There she is. Yeah. Dig site generator online. Core samples processing. All systems nominal. No this worries, man. Thank you for staying. Power a few systems at a time. Xbox? I'll need to make is sure the power junction is directed towards the sensor array. How the hell do I do that? Um, interesting. Thanks for watching, man. Thanks for watching. Power the sensor. That looks like what we're after. No? Where does he get his power from? Started the generator. You actually set it right by. X for. Yeah, no worries, man. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, how the hell can I align this thing? There should be a junction nearby that I can use to route power to the sensor. I admit, I would have never considered using our geological sensor oh. this way. It is highly unorthodox. Well, unorthodox improvisations happen to be a speciality of mine. My father always liked to say, you've got to be prepared to be unprepared. I've been hearing that phrase in my head all morning, let me tell you. Power rerouted. Liv, how are your energy readings? So far, so good. Head to the sensor and bring it online. How? How? How do I bring it? How do I bring the sensor online? This looks like something you would do. Not doing anything. Um, 
do it, I think I've done it right. Is that the right way? Ah. Sorry, man. I thought it, I thought when she spoke it was Sensor done. Reached. Look for the main control console. You should be able to activate the sensor from there. Sensor powering on. Confirmed. You'll need to rotate the dish so it faces the anomaly before we can get a clear reading. And is that where the handle comes in? Nice. No worries, VTs. Thanks, man. We're going to finish this anyway and do a do a part three, part two. Sorry, next time. Jack, it's working. The signal's getting stronger. Keep going. The array is now pointed at the epicenter of the anomaly. Perfect. Give me a minute to process the data. What the you bastard. Jack, what happened? I lost my connection to the sensor. Energy spike from the anomaly. I think it blew the fuse. Shit. Those sensors are sealed before deployment. Okay, you'll need to cut through to access the fuse box. This has to be against protocol. Well, I find it's easier to get things done if you think of the field manual as guidelines, rather than regulations. Hmm, the filament popped. We'll need a new one. There should be plenty of spare fuses around. Look for a replacement. Uh. Okay. I mean, are these just floating around, or do you have to get them out of somewhere? Because I haven't come across any yet. What's this? Ah. Power level stabilizing. Sensor back online so we can finish the scan. Sensor is back online. Connection established. Now we just need to realign the array. Signal synchronized. Scanning in array. Come on, dude. Liv, array is realigned. Can you confirm? Liv, do you copy? I think it worked, Jack. I, I, I picked up something on the oscilloscope. I'm patching the audio through. You're all Robert. How you doing? Do you hear that? What the hell is this? Ah! Liv. Olivia. Jack, I need you. Find a Fury transport and get back here now. Sure. It's no time to end the stream, dude. Select your destination. Look at this get like it's growing even more. Come on, dude, quick. Yeah, man, like sick stuff is gonna be happening. I'm not sure. The story just keeps actually getting better <laughs> as I'm going along. Here we go. There she is. Jack! Over here! What's up? Oh, thank God for you. It, it just switched on. Captain Rhodes. 
Sit right, please. The automatic release protocols aren't working. Oh. I I'm wedged between the trolley and the rail. Can you see a way to get me out? Uh... Clearing area. Oh. Not really. <laughs> Negative. It's trapped beneath the cow. The access cover. If you cut through the bolts, we can get a look inside. Unsecured object detected. Caution. There! Detected. Proximity alert, Jack. The pulse knocked out my cutting tool. Jack! Rebooting. Look! The anomaly is changing. What the hell? Jack, have you seen? Control back online. Incoming, Lift. Jack. Cut the panel. Olivia, everything is going to be fine. Station hull compromised. Yeah, that I have. Wave's gonna hit us, Jack. Hurry. Catastrophic. No. Shit. I've done it, haven't I? Jack, hurry. Where else you want me to? I don't understand what you want me to cut. <laughs> oh. I thought I cut it all. Liv? Liv, do you copy? Are you alright? Liv, where are you? Nothing. to see you have finally recovered. Hera, what happened? Where is Liv? Station has suffered extensive structural damage from the debris field. My program was forced into hibernation mode shortly after Captain Rhodes' departure. Departure? Where did she go? Captain Rhodes did not specify a destination. However, the captain did prepare an emergency beacon. You will find it nearby. Emergency beacon. Got it. I'll have a look. I don't look like a giant ship. Mayday, Mayday. Titan Command, if you're out there, this is Captain Olivia Rhodes. Kronos 2 is lost. Say again, my station has been compromised. We were hit by a debris storm caused by the arrival of an unknown vessel in our sector. Damage is catastrophic. Honestly, it, it's a miracle I'm alive. I twisted my ankle trying to get free of the wreckage. I can manage. I've had worse. But Jack, he... <sighs> he won't reboot. He's gone. I can't stay here. Main power's offline, we've lost atmosphere. Radiation levels are climbing fast. I've no choice but to take my chances aboard the unknown vessel. It's a long shot, but if there's any hope I might be able to survive on that ship, I have to try. Titan Command, if you're receiving. Hell, if, if anyone's receiving, come find me. Hera, are there any Fury transports still operational? Affirmative. Reroute the nearest transport to the station airlock. I'm going to find Liv. Hera, open the activation uh -huh. gate. See you later, dude. Take care. I am care. obligated to inform you that leaving the station is a violation of Atlas Protocol. I don't care. Liv is in trouble. I'm going to help her. Now open the doors. Hera, can you locate Liv's transport? Negative. Sensor network offline. What if I were to repair one of the satellites? Affirmative. A single sensor pulse from one of the satellites would likely be sufficient. Hera, I have a visual on the Fury. Is it ready to launch? Negative. Detecting hazardous levels of radiation. Fury controls are currently locked in accordance with Atlas protocols. Please activate the transport's radiation dampener before departure. Shh. 
Shields at 95%. Hey, doing Captain Chrissy good? Deafening field activated. Acknowledged. Long range sensor satellite located. Plotting course. All right, let's go find our captain. Dude, we're gonna actually go onto an alien ship. That is crazy. That looks so cool and absolutely massive. And that is where we are gonna uh, kill the stream, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, sorry about the technical issues earlier. Completely my fault of where I was messing around my encoder. Um, and something I need to remember for testing out VR games. You know, I need to record depending on what game it is, whether it's going to be GPU intensive or CPU intensive. And um, this is one of those. This is Renz. Right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for your uh, likes. Thank you for your comments. See you later, guys. See you later, Captain Chrissy. We will be back. Robert Robbins will be back with part two. Hopefully tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh. Look after yourselves.